Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday, everybody, on this 22nd of March. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Happy Friday, Donna, Lewis, Michael, John, everyone. All right, good, good, good. All right, everyone, um, hopefully everybody's ready to enjoy the weekend. It's pouring over here in New York. Looks like it's going to be been like that last couple of days. Hopefully it's nice in your neck of the woods. So it doesn't look like we're going to be going anywhere any, anywhere time soon. So we will sit back and uh, enjoy some trading. There's some good pre-markets going on. Uh, but before we get started, guys, and going through it, um, just remember you got about another week left to uh, enjoy the on-site super early early bird special for the Trader Summit for Cyber Trading University, September 10th to the 12th. So um, remember, we have it's uh, three days, regard two days actually of full training. We're gonna have some great guest speakers. We're gonna have a soiree, a blue carpet dinner. So. You know, it's one of our most exclusives. We do it once a year. So make sure you talk to your education advisor to get ready for that. And also, don't forget upcoming events uh, starting April 4th. We got the uh, Cyber Expo that's coming up. So hopefully you get to see all you guys there, too. And hopefully everybody, everyone's been enjoying their classes, uh, which, by the way, I just want to bring it up. Uh, Fran was just kind of made a comment in the trading room, was kind of asking, what is a shake? And Fran, listen, you just and this goes for everyone. You guys have to understand, this is not a tra a teaching room. This is a trading room. If you want to know what that stuff is, you should be learning it in class. If you're not a student, you should be talking to an education advisor to find out how because it's not something you could just put in, in one sentence. A shake is a whole lesson of a class itself. And now you could see how dangerous some, some of these shakes could be that this is one of the reasons why people blow up their accounts. They just don't know how to handle a shake. And that's where the issue comes in. So hopefully you learned a lot from that, friend. In the meantime, guys, uh, let's go over and talk about what happened yesterday before we go through our watch list. There were a couple of decent stocks. We're going to talk about the Levi's that went public uh, regarding that. Had a couple of little shakes going here. But uh, looks like Levi's been doing good in pre-market. Uh, let's start off first with the SR&E trade. Uh, that one had a great push. And you could see she's moving again this morning. So she's kind of picking up where she left off. She does got resistances in the after hours where it hit eight, uh, 580. But the SRNE is going back on the watch list. Nice little move. Nice little pop right there. A lot of you guys did really well. You could see how it had a nice move from 380 all the way to 460. And just kind of went up and then obviously made its last hour push, which is why we only trade part-time. Uh, DSAN. Another nice little move right there. You can see this stock, very slow moving stock, 480 to 550. Um, not the biggest mover, but she did move pretty nicely. She was okay. Uh, the AMD was awesome yesterday. That one you could see went from like 2580 all the way to 28 bucks, right, right until one o'clock. You see 10 o'clock, it went all the way to 2660. And you know, with with uh, AMD, you also had Micron. Micron was just, oops, spelled the wrong one. Mastercard, well, Mastercard did pretty well, but <laughs> I spelled the wrong wrong symbols. Micron was actually pretty good. It came out with earnings. Micron, you could see, had a really nice pop right there, right out of the gate. Went from forty one fifty all the way to forty four dollars. You just got to remember, guys, that when we're trading these stocks right here, uh, regarding the um, these trends, a lot of these stocks you got to be. Remember, we, we talk about levels. What level are you? Are you a level one trader, level two, level three, level four, level five? Maximum is a five. If you're a five trader, you know, you're a thousand to a twenty five hundred dollars a day. That's right, a day trader. If you are a level one trader, then you're pretty much about a hundred to about two hundred dollars a day. You know, so you know, you're not looking to try to kill it here, but you gotta know what level you're at because you could blow up your account uh, not knowing what level you're at. Now, a couple of stocks you could see, like Ben's already doing pretty well on that la the last stock we just talked about. The SREN trade just basically made himself about 45 cents on that one. Good job. Give him a round of applause. Good way to go. Always nice to, you know, it's so nice to start you know, before the market even opens up being positive. Ken just calling out the MMP right now, um, right there. Nice little push right there. Nice little movement of 55%. Uh, percent. You know, I didn't really have it on my watch list. I kind of like had second thoughts on this, but I'm going to throw it on there, uh, Ken. Now, because uh, listen, it, did, it doesn't have the it doesn't have really the good pre-market um, as some of the other ones that we're going to call out. 
the MMP, but because it is gapped up, we'll, we'll, get, we'll throw it on there. But yeah, she's got this nice little trading range from like 320 to about 340. Got major resistance levels there. And if you look over here, you probably see eh, not really that many resistance. You got a big buyer out here for 4,800 at 337. That's a good sign. Look at that. You're getting some, um, you're also getting some, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, what is this right here? Uh, gold. You know, we got yellows. We got yellows going on. Dark prints right there. Absolutely. All right, so let's go through some of the other watches. Okay, so everyone's doing pretty well on this one. Um, listen, we said this yesterday. You can't go broke taking a profit. S-E-E-L, you know, this one went in pre-market. went from 235 all the way to 280 This actually was one of my uh, big winners last week where it ran from $3 to $8. Everyone did really well on it. Guys, go back to your journals. See how you did on it. You know, learn. You got to learn because um, some of these stocks are – Pretty damn volatile. Another one that a lot of you guys were doing good in pre-market this morning was this BPTH. BPTH, you know, listen, you know, I talk about this stock and it's like, you know, and some people like in denial. They're like, okay, what's the scam? What's Listen, you think I care? We're not doing anything illegal. We just follow the money. This stock went from 18 all the way to 75 in an hour and a half. I know a lot of you guys are trading it now. Um, making some nice little moves. Just be very careful with this stock right here, the BPTH, because it is a level four stock. I know a lot of you looking at it like, wow, 21 to 25. You know, my God, if I had 1,000 shares of that, you know, I'd be up about 4,000. I'd be um, That's about a million dollars a year. Listen, there's only certain amount of, certain traders here could trade the stock. This stock has some nasty shakes, and I think that's where Fran was bringing up. She, she's asked me, what's a shake? Fran, you want to know what a shake is? You damn well better be in class, all right? Because if you got shaked out of the stock, this thing would take you to the cleaners, all right? And they do it on every single stock. It's one of the biggest lessons that we teach next to reading level three and everything else. Level three is just uh, learning level three is basically just first grade stuff. When you want to really start learning strategies, you got to learn the shakes. Uh, what else we got? HIBB. That one's moving pretty nicely, too. I called that one out a little bit earlier. The only issue I had with this HIBB, the spread was a little big. Once again, the, one of the biggest things we teach you in, uh, in the first lesson of Edge class, it's the first T. Tradable. Is the stock tradable? Got to look at the spread because I think it could crush you. So we got that one, C-E-N-A-T. -E uh, that one also getting destroyed. Look at the name, guys. Pharmaceutical stock. What do we know about pharmaceutical stocks? They don't come back. Even though she's testing a major support levels right here, which you can see here in the uh, at the end of, De of December of last year. I don't know. Maybe we are testing supports, but down 54%. My God, that, I mean, that literally just showed absolutely no mercy. But I want to keep an eye on it. You know, it is supports. Maybe a couple of days. Maybe it could turn into a swing trade. She did go from like $1.30 all the way back to 3 bucks. you know, but... Uh, Obviously, whatever happened there didn't work out, but we'll, we'll see. Levi's, that one uh, went public yesterday. Once again, minimum, minimum. There's a uh, When you are trading a level, uh, when you're trading an IPO, you have to be a level three trader, period, period, okay? Everyone hears about these IPOs. You got Pinterest that's coming out. You got Lyft. You got Uber coming out. I don't care who you are. Let me tell you, you make money on an IPO, okay? That's the worst thing that could happen to you. I, I remember teaching a student, he says, I love IPOs. I'm like, who trained you? Oh, myself. I, I make a killing on IPOs. You know, and sure enough, it was this great, lovely girl. You know, she was doing great with IPOs. She took her $25,000 account to about $75,000. And she's just a, she was just an IPO, an, an IPO girl that just loved. It's all she wanted to trade. And sure enough, she lost the seventy-five thousand, and she ended up being in debt for another fifty because she thought she knew how to trade IPOs. Trust me, we've traded IPOs. I've seen IPOs go from go from twenty-five dollars to one fifty, right back down to ten, down to zero. So just be careful, IPOs. You got to be a level three trader, and I know there's a lot of them coming out, but and you'll see us trade them in the room. But try to get up to speed. Uh, SREN's the other one we just called out earlier. I think that's about it. China has 13 tech IPOs in the pipeline. Yeah, I know, Wayne. Listen, there's a lot of IPOs coming out, but you got to be very, very careful. Uh, remember, you got to learn how to trade the smaller stock before you can start trading them. Listen, there's 25,000 stocks out there. How about this? 
How about the same people keep playing, trading Facebook and keep trading, you know, Tesla and, you know, Home Depot. And, you know, they think like that's the only stocks uh, that you could trade. They, they're they like, oh, I never heard of this stock, uh, uh, IMMP. I never heard of this stock. What does it do? Does it even matter? You know, who cares? I know people always scrutinize me. What do you mean you don't care? Because I only care about making money. Just that's why we're all here. So focus on the prize and not on the symbol. All right. Uh, Mary Beth says, I don't like China stocks. They have popped and dropped a lot. Well, listen, we traded a lot of them, right? The INO, that was a that was a China stock. Remember, that went public. That was the uh, company. Was it, no, was it not an INO? Uh, N, uh, NIO, right? NIO, that's what. That was that China stock. Remember, it went from 5 to 13. We did pretty well with that. That's like uh, China's uh, Tesla. What else did we have that we did well on? Hoya. Other one. Hoya is another one. Remember, that was a great IPO. Uh, I got to change the calendar here on this one. The weekly. So you remember this one ran from 20 to about 50. That was a great IPO. Did well on that one. Uh, what else did we have? We had a bunch of them that were with, with some good IPOs out there. But anyway, hey, you can't fall in love with them. DIL, I think the only one, IQ, that was the other one. That's right. This was an IPO, 10 to 22. IQ is the other one. Thanks a lot, Steve. That one we did, actually, I did really well on IQ. We all did really well on IQ. But, you know, listen, they would, you got to look where the support levels. I think uh, I think the only one that's really, even even uh, um, Baidu did really well um, You know, after finally popping. This one's doing pretty well. TCC, this one looks pretty good. Keep an eye on this one. Put that on a watch list. CC, uh, CCCL, yep, that's another one. Yep. So anyway, guys, listen, you know, you know why all these Chinese, the China stocks are coming to the United States when we public here? Because remember, that's still a communist country, and we're not going to hold it against them. They just know that here in the United States, people, the money's very secure, you know, being in the United States. That's why a lot of these companies going public here on the New York Stock Exchange and not on the, on the uh, Shanghai Exchange. So, uh, but anyway, regardless of what they are, that's okay. Keep bringing them in. We'll trade them, you know. Got a happy wife, happy life, you know. That's why, you know, got to make money. <laughs> All right, guys. So, listen, there's your watch list. Uh, for some of you here, hope you've been enjoying it so far. Students, it's been a great uh, month so far. I told you, once after New Year's is over, this is where it's, uh, hump months come in. It's like the, one of the best times of the year to trade. So, and don't forget, you got classes that are coming up. Remember, you got to be in class. You got to learn the game. But there's only a very small window of opportunity to make money. And that's the first hour of the open, which is obviously the pre-market included, and the last hour of the close. This is not a full-time job. So, but you can make it a full-time job, but for some of us, if you can make half as much and, 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 and have a, a, you know, enjoy the rest of the, you know, enjoy the rest of the day, that's why a lot of us do it, but you got to learn before you get on. So everyone enjoy your weekend. If I'll see you back at two 30, some of you did pretty well so far in pre-market. Like I always say, don't worry about it. Stock market's not going to business. We'll see you back on Monday. And you know what? You could do that. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.